People look at what religion calls the heavens. They look at the stars, the galaxies. They can see a small part of the vastness of the universe, and they can imagine the greater vastness of the universe. Or they can look on a small scale, look with a microscope and see a small microbe or whatever, and be amazed by what goes on internally within that. They can ponder the relation between what you can see with a microscope and what you can see with a telescope. This is an essential quality of human beings. Human beings will always strive for this. Far from trying to suppress this or failing to recognize it, we can and should and will give much fuller expression to it. Bob Avakian, Basics 430. In this segment, we want to share with our viewers the awe and wonder of scientific discovery. I'll be drawing from a letter to Revcom.us titled, The James Webb Space Telescope, Galaxies at the Edge of Time, Appreciative Reflections from a Reader. The James Webb Space Telescope is the world's most powerful telescope, and it has just recently released its first five images. The Deep Field Galaxy Cluster of SMACS 0723. The Atmospheric Signatures in WASP 96b. The Dual Imaging of the Southern Ring Nebula. The Five Galaxies of Stefan's Quartet. And the Star Forming Region dubbed Cosmic Cliffs of the Carina Nebula. Assembling the images itself was a great feat of human endeavor. With the largest of these, Stefan's Quartet, required the knitting together of a thousand different photos taken by this telescope to weave a complex tapestry of what we are newly learning about the universe. In a viral TikTok, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the astrophysicist, was gushing and beaming, responding to the first images released by the telescope. Oh my gosh! The first image from the James Webb Space Telescope. And here it is. Uh, galaxies to the edge of time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Galaxies at the edge of time. He said. For not only are these images giving us a look at distant places in space, but due to the nature of images recording light that has traveled for billions of years, it means we are also taking a glimpse into a distant point in time. The images capture light traveling from over 13 billion light years away. That's 13 billion years in the past. And astonishingly close to the theorized 13.8 billion years ago when the Big Bang, which first formed the universe as we know it today, is thought to have taken place. Images of the sparks and swirls, the massive collisions and the emissions of gas and dust all give us beginnings of new insight into the earliest stirrings of the universe which would shape the formation of everything, including us. Look at the photo that Tyson was reacting to. Nearly everything in the image is a galaxy, a group of stars held together by gravity. Each of the galaxies contain roughly hundreds of billions of stars. Astronomers have said that a grain of sand held at an arm's length against the night sky would cover an area roughly the size of what is captured in this picture. Another picture they released, the Southern Ring Nebula, shows two views of a star which has exploded and is sending waves of dust and gas into space. Almost all of the elements that make up our world, like carbon and oxygen, are produced inside the nuclear furnace of stars and are set out in explosions like this and in other ways. This then lays the basis for a more complex universe, including life itself. The Webb Telescope will greatly expand our understanding of how all this happened and also promises breakthroughs in the search for life outside our planet. All of this is a very big deal. A key dimension of Bob Avakian's new communism is the relationship between the search for truth and getting to communism, a world beyond exploitation, oppression, and antagonistic social divisions. 
In this context, he has emphasized the importance of seeking the truth about reality in a sweeping way, not just what is immediately necessary or useful, but part of the rich and multifaceted process that needs to characterize the world historic transition to communism. He said it like this, quote, There is a whole thing being missed if truth is approached in a narrow and utilitarian way. If somebody discovers something about the Big Bang, that will be interesting and exciting. Truths are important just for what they are, because that's the kind of world we want to get to. For what they are. Human beings do need to be amazed. You don't need religion to realize or appreciate that. In the motion of the material world and the interaction of human beings with the rest of reality, mysteries get resolved and new mysteries emerge. Why wouldn't someone with broadness of mind be interested in questions of cosmology in their own right? Cosmology refers to the science and philosophy of the origins and development of the universe. And Bob Avakian said this in Intoxicated with the Truth. This telescope is a huge advance in humanity's ability to see and understand the universe. The five images released by the scientists running the Webb telescope give a preview of the kinds of things that this telescope will be working on in the years to come. Go to revcom.us to read the letter of appreciation in full and to get a better sense of how this telescope does what it does. This thing is a product of 30 years of work by over 20,000 scientists, engineers, and others from 14 different countries. All this underscores the fact that science is a collective enterprise. It should know no borders, and it is precious for and belongs to humanity. So we have to note and condemn the ways in which some NASA officials and U.S. government representatives cynically try to claim this major, collective, human accomplishment as testament to the greatness of the American empire. Some scientists have rightly called out the naming of the telescope after James Webb, who was the first head of NASA with a sordid past that includes developing methods of psychological warfare for the U.S. State Department and purging its ranks of LGBT employees. And the U.S. President, Joe Biden, pitifully proclaimed that, quote, These images are going to remind the world that America can do big things. And they remind the American people, especially our children, that there's nothing beyond our capacity. Nothing beyond our capacity. This is remarkably ignorant given the amount of worldwide collective human knowledge and work that went into the telescope itself. And it rings especially hollow, given that Joe Biden is the chief representative of a profit-driven capitalist imperialist system which struggles to see anything beyond the edge of its own nose. So with all that, it's worth thinking about the fact that even confined in a society and world like this one, where the capitalist imperialist system overall distorts mangles and suppresses truth, science, and the scientific method, while also keeping this scientific knowledge from vast sections of humanity. Even with all that, something like this telescope can be brought forward. In contrast, think about how this points to the unprecedented and yet unimaginable potential of what could really be brought forward in a society and world which does not do this. As another example of the precious, far-seeing, scientific leadership that humanity needs and has, Bob Avakian puts it this way. Communism will not put an end to nor somehow involve the suppression of awe and wonder, the imagination, and the need to be amazed. On the contrary, it will give much greater and increasing scope to this. It will give flight on a much grander scale to the imagination, in dialectical relation with and in an overall sense as part of a systematic and comprehensive scientific outlook and method for comprehending and transforming reality. Bob Avakian, Basics 430.